What percentage of all the people in the world do you think are migrants? Half a century ago, about 3% of the world population was an international migrant. That's still the same percentage. So if we look at the longer term, actually migration hasn't accelerated. Of course there's more migrants, but there's also more people in the world. All forms of mobility have gone up, like travel, commuting, business travel, tourism obviously have spiked. But actually, migration in terms of people changing residency has been remarkably stable again. Let's go back to what seems normal to us. So what is normal for a German won't be what is normal for a Syrian and for an Afghan in law. But for them as human beings, they have the same aspirations. So again, understanding that there are human rights that are rights for all and then having rights that are rights for Germans and then rights for Syrians is very hard for people to understand and accept. So they challenge that. And it's good to challenge a normal and that's how our societies have evolved. Many people think that if an immigrant has a job that must be at the expense of their job. I'm going to try and convince you of an impossible idea. That it's not the case that an immigrant coming to this country to work is taking your job. That it probably has very little effect on your labour market opportunities at all. The notion that migration is something that can be controlled at a border point, even if it's violently controlled, is a notion that's very much out of date and out of kilter with the lived reality of the world on a street such as this. Everybody will have a, have a good life. And what I say, maybe you're not going to like it, and it is how I see it. Because there are lots of European people traveling around, don't have a visa. There are some other people, when they want to go somewhere, they need a visa, they turn down, and it's not fair. That is how I feel. Migration never started today. It's many years ago, and it will be an issue. Even if Britain come out of EU, it's going to continue. It will not make any change. The current movement of British politics and indeed of European politics is in the absolute opposite direction of the lived realities, ambitions and aspirations of streets like this. Politics is out of kilter with the pace of a global and highly mobile world.